Okay, now you've seen how to register as a developer. Let's make a few basic REST calls against the Alfresco Cloud API. In the first screencast, I showed uh, registering and grabbing the client ID and client secret. And I happened to put those into uh, exactly the format I needed for my, uh, for my OAuth 2 class over here. I'm using Google's OAuth 2 uh, client, and I think it's actually an old version, but it's going to work just fine for this. So let's go look at an example of uh, getting the sites that uh, you can see in your Alfresco Cloud account. The first thing that we're going to do is uh, make a call to API Alfresco Com, and that returns back a list of networks. A network is tied to your user, uh, your email address that you've signed up as. So everyone in the alfresco.com domain sees uh, is part of the same network. Everyone that's part of ecmarchitect.com is part of the same network, etc. So what we're doing now is we're setting up the call to um, get the list of sites. So we're passing in, uh, or we need the home network, we're calling sites, and then I'm going to limit the results to 10. You can see here that we're just going to iterate over the um, the sites that come back. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens and then we'll talk a little bit more about how it works. So the first thing that happens is Alfresco is going to ask the end user to grant access to their account. I'll go ahead and use my Alfresco, uh, my real Alfresco Cloud account here and I'll grant access to this application. Now the window will close and if we look in the output here, we'll see that uh, it dumps out the 10 sites, the first 10 sites that it finds that I'm able to see. Now this is obviously just a command line example. You could incorporate this into any um, application, mobile, web, desktop, it doesn't matter. Let's see how, how this looks when we just hit it using um, raw HTTP. I, I'm using a little app here called Dev HTTP Client that you can find in the Google Chrome Store. I need to add an authorization header, and this is done for you by the OAuth client, but when you're using something like the uh, HTTP client, you have to grab the access token and set the authorization, authorization header yourself. So I'll call that uh, API Alfresco.com URL, and we can see the network information that comes back as JSON. So that's how we figured out what my home network was, which is alfresco.com. And so let's go ahead and um, make the call in the HTTP client to see the sites that come back. So we'll just uh, fill out my home network here, add the sites URL, and do a get. And here comes the, uh, the 10 sites, again, as JSON. And then my app is just parsing that JSON. And then I iterate over that stuff. Now there's a lot of details about you know uh, limiting the results that come back and things like that. You can find that uh, in the documentation. So we don't need to do an exhaustive uh, coverage here of every single um, option that's possible. So how does this work? So my method called do example uh, accepts an HTTP request factory and a credential, and um, then this is just a runnable class, but um, I'm running a method called run. That method is inherited out of a base example, and in the base example I'm setting up things like uh, the different URLs that I need, and this is the piece, um, this is the class that's actually handling the OAuth flow for us. And this is all just boilerplate um, code that I snagged from the Google OAuth 2 client examples. So none of this is specific to, uh, to how the Alfresco API works. So you know if you're using a different OAuth client, you'll do something that looks a little bit different to this. But the concept is, is the same. So we're just calling um, authorize here. And what's happening is it's starting up a little server, um, a local little jetty server on port 8080 that uh, that will wait for the callback URL to get called, and then it grabs the token, and uh, and then now calls do example, which is where all my examples will implement. So, you know, I, I would just encourage you to go grab this code, look at the code, and 
uh, look at the uh, Google OAuth 2 examples. There are a lot of them out there, and they're they're pretty helpful. So that's the basics of how you hit the Alfresco API. And uh, in the next example, we'll see a little bit more elaborate calls that use uh, the CMIS API.